and welcome back to the channel on this video as you see I have the Rad Rover out and I have the Lyric Graffiti out and I'm going to do a little talk about seats on this video e-bike seats and comparing the two styles so first let's look at the Lyric Graffiti so it's got the it's a moped style e-bike and it has the long bench seat as you can see right there and then it has the upper part here is for a second rider um, so when I sit on this bike I sit right here at the back I probably wish there was a little more room I'd go another inch or so back or maybe two inches sit back but um, if I sit back this far it's too far for me so uh but i'm okay with it uh, sitting up here but for somebody that's taller i'm five foot nine so somebody who's say six feet or six foot one or more they tend to sit back here so i wish it was like this or this either way all the way so that um somebody can uh, sit according to their height because this particular seat as you can see is not adjustable so you get what you get so that's the downside about the moped style bikes is that you can't adjust the seat um, but it is a very comfortable seat I gotta say that so and then you come over here to the Rad Rover and you see the single seat there and it does have an adjustment um, and I'll show you right over here so we've got the lever right here and so all you do is pull that out and then you can adjust your seat to whatever height you want it, it actually goes up quite a bit here um, you don't want to pull it obviously all the way out you need a little bit a few inches well it says right there actually so minimum is right there 350 millimeters or 27 points two inches so that's the maximum you want to pull it up but that's a lot that's a lot and then you can just lock it in right here and so there's the maximum seat look at that seat height so if you're a taller rider you can get it pretty tall there you can get the seat uh, adjusted pretty high I don't like it like that first of all I'm not that tall and secondly I want my feet to be able to uh, touch the ground I know a lot of people have their own way you know the uh, how high they want the seat or low but um, I like to be able to get my feet down the ground I feel like I have more control but that's just me you know um, but at least my toes you know I want to be able to touch my tippy toes on the ground uh, to have some kind of control but um, you want to be able to also stretch your legs out if you're pedaling so that's the advantage to this bike over the Lyric Graffiti which I don't really pedal this bike though it's more of a throttle for me but um, that's why the bench seat is good in that way that we can sit back or forward depending on our height this bike I believe it's 31 inches at here and it's probably a, a good inch or, or a little more there on the back but um, these are just two uh, styles of uh, e-bike seats. And um, I think that having the uh, seat like the Lurk Graffiti here does detour some people from buying this style of bike just simply because the seat's not adjustable. Um, but uh, I think that's why if this was all flat right across... I think it'd be better because we can just sit forward or back according to our height but all right well we're gonna go for a ride and talk a little bit more on the lyric graffiti so now we're on the Lyric Graffiti for a little ride around. I want to talk a little more about e-bike seats. So there's a bike 
that I saw uh, a little while back, uh, some months, a uh, few months back, that I thought was great, a great idea where it had a, it was a cafe or um, scrambler style, moped style bike like this one. And it had on it a hydraulic lift where you could raise it up or down just a, by the push of a button and I really like that idea but I can't remember the make of the bike or anything if anybody out there does know of this bike or a bike that does that let me know in the comments because I think that's a cool idea but I don't know how uh, costly that would be or anything but uh, it's kind of neat to be able to adjust the seat. I don't know how far it can be adjusted, but I do like the idea of doing that. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.